So this question is a system of equations. So these questions or this type of question definitely shows up on the SAT plenty and the processes for solving system of equations questions are elimination and substitution. So typically I'm using elimination, substitution, not as much, but you know, substitution typically is if you already have a variable isolated on its own in the, in one of the equations of the system. Um, technically I could easily isolate a single variable from what I have here, but it would be so much easier just to add these two equations together, which is what you would do with elimination. And I would add these together because I see that my y's would cancel out when I add, right? So two x plus x is two x, but y plus negative y is gone, and then 10 plus four is equal to 14. And therefore, when I divide both sides by two, x is equal to seven. Um, now I could also find y, um, but I'm gonna read the question now and see exactly what they're asking me to find. The solution to the given system of equations is x comma y. What is the value of two x? Well, I just found that x equals seven. The question wants 2x, so I just figure out what 2 times 7 is, and that is 14. So our answer here is 14. So in essence, if you um, notice my process, as soon as I see that it's a system of equations, I just go ahead and solve it. Um, even though I could continue on and figure out what the y value is here, I probably typically you know, do not do that unless I know that I need to do that. And then I read the question. If, of course, the question had asked me to find y, I would just plug this seven in to one of the equations and then solve for y. If it had asked some other complex answer, like something more complicated than two x, of course, I would have the information there to be able to solve that as well. But jumping straight to solving the system typically has never been a waste of time um, for me.